They gave um, junior high school students, uh, age uh, 11 and 12, the uh, standard SAT math exam. <laughs> and they found a very large number of students scored very high on this exam. Uh, uh, not a large number. I mean, they, f they found many students when they cast the net to all of Baltimore. They found a number of students who scored as high on the SAT math when they were 12 years old as incoming Hopkins freshmen. Um, many of those kids went on to be very successful. And now there's a 50-year follow-up of those kids. And it turns out, if you, th these kids were in the top 1%. Okay, so everybody in this study is in the top 1%. If you take that group that rarefied group, and divide them into quartiles mm -hmm. so that you have the top 25% of the top 1% and the bottom 25% of the top 1%, you can find on measurable variables of success, the top quartile does better than the bottom quartile in the top 1%. They have more patents, they have more publications, they have more tenure at universities. And this is based on, their, you're, you're dividing them based on their score at age 12. <laughs>